This is La Speciale Mini Vivaldi S1 machine. It uh, makes a great espresso, but it's missing one important feature. It doesn't have the warm-up timer and you can't shut it off remotely. One of the options to add the timer to this uh, machine is the La Speciale timer. This timer sold for about $200, pretty expensive. Uh, it's very outdated. It has LCD screen and you can only schedule the warm up and shut down. It's not connected to your phone and you cannot shut down this machine remotely. Also, there's no place to put this timer. You will have to stick it with a double sided tape on the side of the machine uh, or put it on the top. Uh, we have to put it somewhere. There's no special place for it. The second option is to add a smart plug as we have here. So this is the smart plug that you can buy uh, at a lot of different locations, Amazon, your uh, hardware store, and that uh, outlet could be controlled by the phone and have the schedule when it turns on and when it turns uh, off. The only challenge, challenge is this uh, with the La Speciale machine is when we plug the machine in, and let's say we use the phone to turn our outlet on, Yes, it supplies the power to the machine, but the machine is not really turning on until you push the power button. So that requires you to still push the power button to turn the machine on. So we have a solution for you. Instead of installing La Speciale timer, you can install a custom designed uh, power retained timer specifically for Vivaldi. It installed the same way as La Speciale timer, it takes only a couple of minutes and you'll be able to schedule the machine warm up. You can set up different schedules, depends on the day. You can turn the machine on and off remotely via your phone. So let me show you how the machine is going to work once you install the module. So I have, uh, I have an app here for the smart plug and if I'll turn the smart, the smart plug on, it supplies the power to the machine and our accessory turns the machine actually on. So you see the machine is currently heating up and you can turn the machine uh, off as well. The smart plugs comes with a schedule and you will be able to set up a different uh, uh, schedules. For example, this schedule is for 6 a.m. to start the machine up. So if you want to start the machine 30 minutes before you actually make the coffee, you can do that now. And if you by any chance need to turn it off remotely, you'll be able to do it now with your phone anywhere in the world. Now I'm going to show you how to install the power retain timer into the machine. First of all, we need to unplug the machine, make sure that it's unplugged and it's cold. We would remove the top cover, it's one screw on the top, and we would uh, remove two screws on the front to take the front off. It should take you about 10 minutes to install the timer. The timer installed in a pre-wired socket uh, that is uh, designed for the La Speciale timer. For the installation, you would need a Phillips screw and a wire cutters. I move the machine forward so I can take the top of cover. First of all, I'm gonna take the screw from the top. So unscrew it. It's a single screw. I'm gonna lift that cover carefully. Put it aside. We're gonna take the tray out. We're gonna take the water reservoir out. And there are two screws that holding the front cover. Easy to take off. Okay. So now You'll find the uh, gray wire here, and that wire attaches uh, to another copper pipe and there's a zip tie. So we need to cut that uh, zip tie to release the connector.
This is probably the hardest uh, step of the installation. So once you remove the heat shield, actually you don't need to re remove it, you can just uh, push the wire through, you'll find there's a, a single plug here. So that's plug they actually used for the original uh, La Speciale timer. So now we are going to install the module. You can only plug it one way. We'll plug the module in. We'll slide the heat shield on top of the connector. And we're going to use a zip tie to secure our timer. One more thing, on the top of the machine, if you look from the top, we will provide the picture, you'll find there's the switch there that will need to be turned to on. So you can reach with your hand or you can use uh, something else to, to reach there and turn the switch to the on position. We're going to perform a small test to make sure that everything works. So we're going to plug the machine in. And uh, we know that there's no power to that machine, so we're going to turn the plug on. You'll find the device uh, is going to blink a couple of times, uh, blue, and you'll see our machine is on now. Again, I'm going to turn the power off, and I'm going to use the phone. So I'm going to press on the Vivaldi, and now we see that the machine is actually turning on. So everything works. We can turn the machine off, unplug it, and assemble it back. So the only step uh, is left to assemble machine back. We're going to take this wire with our uh, module and put it just inside the machine. We're going to put the front cover with two screws. We're going to put the top cover with one screw, and that's it. You're ready.